Hi there, this is Vic from Falcon PEV and today we'll be discussing a relatively hot topic. How does motor wattage, power, which is wattage, voltage, RPM and torque all kind of link up together? Right, in this video you can see a stock 250 watt Fido motor running at top speed and we're using a tachometer to measure the RPM. So the RPM put out recorded is about 417. So, but the more important thing I want you to note is the sound of the motor. Right, record the sound of the motor inside here. Next, we're gonna convert that 417 RPM into actual speed, which is about 24 kilometers per hour. So the actual speed will be about 24 kilometers per hour. The reason why we're using a geared motor is because recorded speed and laden speed matches the actual speed pretty closely, right? Unlike uh, gearless motors, which most e-scooters use, they don't really match up. Okay, so once we input that 417 RPM, it translates to 24 kilometers per hour, right? So that is most, most likely the speed you're gonna get when you actually ride it. Next up is the 350 watt motor. Okay, we install a 350 watt and record the actual speed using a tachometer. You can see, right, it's about 470 RPM. So the RPM has gone up, which means that the actual top speed has gone up too. Right? Not by much. But more importantly, listen to that sound. Okay, listen and record that sound in your head. So if you, if you translate, if you convert that 470 RPM, it translates to 27, which is only a measly 3 kilometers per hour of increase, top speed increase. But Listen to that 250 watt motor sound. Do you have the sticker? Yes, yeah, sir. The color sticker. Do you have the sticker? Yes, yeah, So top RPM, what? 417. Yeah, 417. Yes, okay. And that 350 watt motor sound. The 350 watt motor sound is more robust. It's lower pitched, uh, lower frequency, whereas that. watt motor sound is higher pitch and higher frequency what that's telling you is that the 250 watt motor is being stretched out right it's being overstretched it's maxing out it's telling you it can't take no more but the 350 watt is just cruising leisurely and it's telling the controllers the speed controllers that give me more give me more I can take more power right so Using stock controllers, the yeah, 350 watt isn't maxing out its potential, right? Whereas that 250 watt motor has already maxed out. Now, what that translates into torque is that the 350 watt can provide more torque and more top speed, right? The 227, the 27 kilometers per hour that's recorded isn't really the top speed of the 350 watt motor because the controllers do not match the motor, right? But the torque is putting up by the 350 watt that's the full talk you get. What's happening is that even if the top speed increased by three kilometers per hour, but the torque has increased by 40%, right? So changing the controller that matches up to the 350 watt model would give you the real top speed.